trying to put this up like last month but I was at clinic which was super fun I just got back from Texas and I just wanted to make a quick video about um, application for PT school if you are doing the application right now so towards the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and add a little snippet of my navigation of the website it's PT cast um, PT C A S like PT cast so just head to the website if you are trying to apply for next year's uh, admissions or maybe if you're thinking about applying it's a really good resource for all of your um, information so one of the things that i did which would be my biggest tip is i actually went to the website my junior year of college because i knew i wanted to go after go to pt school the year after my senior year and I went to the website, I looked at the, I went to the website, I looked at the program directory. Um, one of the big things on the directory that's helpful, it shows you all of the prerequisites for all of the classes for PT schools across the country. So what I did was I knew I wanted to go to Alabama State for my program and I wanted to apply to other schools too. So I actually just took Alabama State's prerequisites lined them up to the other schools that had the same thing so I know what other schools that I can apply to without having to take a bunch of extra classes and I could still have options so that would be my main my main tip the other thing that I would highly suggest that you are tentative on is your checklist one thing that I almost messed up well I did I genuinely messed up my application um it was my GRE scores. I forgot to send them in. So I actually took my GRE, but I didn't send them in to PTCAS. So you got to make sure you're going over all of your basic stuff because the deadlines, they're over the course from like July to December, but some schools, they have shorter deadlines that they cut off at like October, November, and you don't want to miss those deadlines so you want to make sure you have everything together and you can send to the deadline for the school that you want to go to on time you're sending in your GRE scores you put in all of your transcripts for like uh, the website you have to type in every single class that you actually took send in your transcripts get your recommendation letters your observation hours um, maybe like community service achievements so those are all the type things that you want to kind of have in mind. So those are all the type things that you want to have in mind when you're actually getting your application together and then when you're actually thinking about applying to. Because if you're right now in 2018 and you know you want to go to the like 2020 class, then you have time. But you can definitely still be working on like your observation hours, your recommendation letters, and just have all of that stuff kind of getting it together along the way. So when it actually comes to sending your application, you're not scrambling, like trying to find somebody to do a recommendation letter, trying to find a place to do your observation hours. And one thing about observation hours, I would suggest you go to as many places as you can. I regret not going to a Pete setting like I wanted to. I just didn't have the time and I was kind of over observation by the time I was getting ready to graduate. But I would like to have exposure to it um, if I could. So it's never too late, but get as much time in the observations as you can for the places that you think you might have an interest in. Last thing I wanted to give a tip on is networking. So you want to go ahead and do your observation hours, your recommendation letters, close to or around people that are kind of centered around the school that you want to go to too. So for me, I'm from Montgomery and I wanted to go to Alabama State. So I did my observation hours in Montgomery. I went around Montgomery, met a lot of people that were from around here and that were affiliated with the program. So when it came time to do my admissions, it was a lot of people that had pool in the program that was like, hey, I know her, I met her, she would be good. So I really think that was a big part of me getting into the program too.
Oh, goodness. Oh. So, this is the website that I was talking about, PTCast. Um, this is the website you're going to go to to do all of your application stuff. I'm just going to start by going to the overview stuff where you can check out the checklist here. So, this is what I was talking about where you can go and they'll give you kind of your rundown of everything you need to kind of be checking out for. Uh, so, you want to go ahead and send out your application because apparently it takes five weeks for PTCast to verify. Um... What else did I want y'all to see on this page? Uh, I don't know. Let's go to the next thing. So the next thing we can kind of take a look at here, I'm um, just showing you all of the drop-down tabs for each of the highlighted areas. The main thing I was talking about was the prerequisites. So this is the program directory right here. So this is literally like every school in the country and like PTCast just compiled a list of all of the prerequisites. You can see all of the classes at the top of the screen right there that each school might require. And then it goes down and tells you how many of each of those courses that you might actually need to take to have for PTCast. So we're back on the program prerequisites page. You can kind of see the deadlines and stuff. It has a help center you could actually use that gives you some advice, um, checklist that you can make sure that you're on track with. There's the GRE, the PT observation hours that I was talking about. Transcripts. Yeah, so you guys get the picture, right? Just go to the website, check it out. Oh, what were we doing? I'm just going to fix my hair real quick. Yep, so I put this video off long enough. I really just wanted to make something quick to put out there because I know a couple people were waiting for me to talk about admissions. So if you have any other questions, just get in touch with me. Hope this was helpful. It was a little rushed and a lot late. So yeah, here it is anyway.